I would like to welcome you all in the simplified triple studies. So we today we are going to discuss about top low cost triple and EC mini project in the year of 2025. So I'm going to propose some good idea which you can implement as a mini project. Okay, so the first title is automatic street light control using light dependent resistor. Objective is to auto to like automatically turn on the street lights during the night and off during the day, reducing the human intervention and the save the power. That is the ultimate goal of this particular uh, project. Here we require a light dependent resistor which uh, sends the ambience of the light level. When the darkness falls, what is going to happen? Uh, the LDR is that the resistance, the resistance of uh, LDR increases, which trigger the transistor or relay circuit to switch on the light. So during the daytime, high intensity decreases the LDR resistance and which uh, activate the turning of the light system. We need the following components. Heart of the component is LDR. It's a control device. We have BC547 NPN transistor and we have like a current limiting resistor, 1 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm resistors and we have relay and uh, we, we have a diode which will support only for the unidirectional current flow and we have the power supply 5 volt and uh, we have LED bulb or a small AC or DC lamp. So, you know, bulb will operate on AC and DC. So, LDR, then uh, we are going to have the voltage divider and we have the transistor which will act as a switch, electronic switch and then relay power to the street light. The major advantages of the projector reduces the energy consumption, simple and low cost and no need for timer and manual operation. That's a plus point of the project. Possible enhancements are used Arduino to add the real-time clock and the dimming features. We can have a proper brightness control you can do with the help of Arduino. And even you can add the GSM module for the remote control, right? So these are the peculiarity of the project. Within uh, to, uh, 400 to 600 rupees, you can wind up. Next is power theft detection system. Objective is to detect the illegal tapping of electricity from the main lines and alert authorities. There are so many news which are uh, available in the article that power theft. So how to avoid the power theft? We are going to propose a small model. Working principle is to measure the current at two points before and after the distribution of the consumer. If there is a significant difference, I mean significant drop, more current drawn than expected, then uh, we are assuming the theft the, 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 the is happened. Uh, you can send the SMS to the like KB offices. Then we require the components like a current transformers to measure the current, then Arduino uh, or microcontroller. Uh, then uh, uh, GSM, GSM uh, for example, you can use SIM 800, resistors and diode, then power supply for the circuit. Uh, microcontroller will act as a control device. Uh, the current measurement will be done with the help of current transformer 1 and current transformer 2. Then it is fed to the GSM module and give the alert. Okay, if the theft is happened, there will be one buzzer system. This simple proposed model having the following advantage. It helps the electric boards prevent the losses, affordable solution to the remote areas, easy to expand the multiple homes and uh, possible enhancements are to add the Wi-Fi module or IoT for the real-time cloud monitoring. Even like include the overload protection system as well. These are the peculiarity of the project by after doing the successful completion of the project. So we have another simple project that is mobile charger with a battery indicator. You know that build a solar powered uh, charger to mobile the device with a battery level indication. Solar panel converts sunlight into electricity. You know, it's a transducer. It's a sensor, right? Uh, then voltage is uh, regulated to 5 volt uh, using the regulator like a 7805. Not 5 means plus not 5, right? Plus 5 volt. Battery level indicated using the LED connected by a voltage divider on top of the open circuit. We have the components like a 6 volt solar panel available in the market. You can visit eBay uh, then or any other websites. LM7805, even local vendors also can visit. Then rechargeable battery, lithium ion that is preferred. Uh, 9 volt is also plenty available. Diodes, which will prevent the reverse current flow and ensure the protection. LEDs and resistors are another component. Then we have the USB port. Then block diagram means uh, it is very simple. Uh, we have solar panel. Uh, then uh, to, pre to prevent the reverse power flow, we have a diode. Uh, then it is uh, fed to the battery. Battery is directly given to the voltage regulator. That is 7805. Then that is given to USB output because USB that is actually operating with the 5 volt. Then we have LED battery indicator based on the uh, like LED. We'll come to know whether the battery is exhausted or not. So plus point of this particular system is portable and eco-friendly, even teaches the solar and power regulation concepts and useful for rural and remote area. Possible enhancement, you can add a USB fast charging system, even you can go for like a solar tracking system. 
So altogether, I think you can see the budget of the pro uh, like a project. In the first project, I talked about like automatic street light control using light dependent resistor. Maximum budget is actually 600 rupees. We need only sensors, relay, analog electronic. You can approach the local vendors or you can bulkly order through eBay or any other websites. Then power theft detection, that is uh, uh, around 800 to 1200. Uh, it's an intermediate complex. Then sensor, we require embedded GSM communication system. If I talk about the solar mobile charger, even second year students can easily do it. Even diploma candidate also can make out. That is uh, 400 to 700 rupees, Indian rupees. And the complexity is basic. Uh, we need uh, solar energy and power regulator. So thanks for watching this video. I'll be continuing the remaining portion of the project in the next, next video. Uh, if you are watching our channel first time, I request you to subscribe. Also share with the stakeholders, those who are still searching for the mini projects. It is uh, completely dedicated for EC, triple e, EAE students. And uh, if you have any uh, queries, do let me throw in your know, comment box. I can address you. Thanks for watching this video. I wish you all the very best for your project and find the project at the earliest and you can implement the same thing and study the concept. Happy learning. Wish you all the very best.